very good morning friends i welcome you all to my youtube channel and in uh, today's session we have a problem on a pentagonal lamina which is resting on one of its edges on xy that is the line of intersection of vp and hp and in this resting in such a way that the corner opposite to this is at a given height from hp or xy and we need to draw how the lamina looks in the front view top view and end view friends in the question he says the lamina has got a side of 30 mm is resting on one of its sides on the line of intersection that is to say the side one of the side having 30 mm size is resting on x y so i keep the lamina with one of the side on x y obtain its top front and end views friends in the front view you see it as a line sorry a pentagon in the top view you see it as a line on x y in the end view you see as another line on x1 y1 which is a line of intersection of vp and the right profile plane friends let me keep the lamina with one of the side touching x y obtain its front top and end view So I have drawn a pentagon of side thirty mm with one of the side on x y. I obtain the top view. It's going to be a line on this x y of maximum width is equal to so much, and obtain the corresponding end view on x one y one, which is the line of intersection of V P and H P. Sorry, VP and the right profile plane. Friends, this is how the lamina looks in the side view. In the top view, it is a line, and in the front view, it is going to be a hexagon of the given side. Friends, here the side. If I call this as a dash b dash, the position of this is fixed. So here in the end view, it is seen as a point. i will call this as a double dash b double dash this we can call it as c1 dash d1 dash and e1 dash because the position is finally going to change so i just produce lines from here and work time this point as c1 double dash e1 double dash this is going to be d1 double dash so friends this line will give you the end view this is the front view and this line i can keep this as a comma b because the position of a b is fixed so on this i should get c c here d on this friends you see here the x1 y1 and x y they meet at 90 degree at an angle of 90 degree friends now in the question he says The lamina has to rest on A B on H P. That is to say on X Y, and the corner opposite to this side. The corner opposite to this is D. That is this much above that, but it has to be at a height of twenty mm above H B. So friends, I am going to write down here a line parallel to X Y. At a distance of twenty millimeter, on which or at which this corner J should come, J dash should come. Friends, now the locus of this J is fixed. That is given by this line. Now what we do? We will have this center A one dash B one dash. That is A double dash B double dash. Taking this as center, this distance as radius, I draw an arc. so this arc will have a length equal to this much this height so this is going to be the final position of this corner d i call it as d double dash i join d double dash 
with a double dash, b double dash, and similarly, I transfer this point C E to this. So friends, we have got finally this is b double dash, this is c double dash, e double dash. The final position of C A D it is a double dash b double dash. Friends, in this figure, the last line a double dash b double dash c double dash e double dash d double dash will represent the surface of the lamina which is inclined at an angle theta with hp and you will be able to measure because it is asked in the question what angle is made by the surface with hp similarly you can also obtain what is the angle made by the surface with vp which you call it as phi friends you got the end view and also we have got what are the angles made by the surface of lamina with HP and VP. Finally, I should get the print view corresponding to this position and also the top view. Friends, let us proceed and get it one by one. Suppose I want to get this point B dash in the print view. I write a horizontal line or extend this line to the left. Write a vertical line from here, the point where those two intersect will be our final point D dash. On the same lines, friend, we have C and E here. Draw a horizontal from there, C and E. Vertical line from this C1 dash. D1 dash, you will get the point C dash and E dash. I will call this point as E dash. This point as C dash. Finally, friends, you got this A dash, B dash. Its position is fixed because it has to be on x, y. So I am going to join this A and B. So join A dash B dash, B dash C dash, D dash C dash, D dash E dash, finally A dash A dash. Friends, this figure, the distorted pentagon, A dash B dash C dash, D dash E dash will give you the final print view of the lamina. Then this line inclined at theta with the horizontal will give you the final side view. So friends, once you have these two, let us see how to get the final top view of this lamina. Friends, for this, let us start from the point D. Draw a vertical line from D till it cuts this 45 degree line. Transfer that to the print view. So I am just bringing this point C and D onto 45 degree line and this is point D. D is here by vertical line from there. So this is going to be the final top view of the corner D. Likewise friends get C and E vertical from there, horizontal from here. The point where this two intersect along this vertical will give you C and E. So C falls on this vertical from here. So this is point E and this is point C in the top view. So friends we have got A, B, C, D and E. So we have got all the five corners in the top view. Join them by straight line to obtain the final top view. So I am going to join A, B, C, D, A to E, E to D, D to C, C to B. So this figure A, B, C, D, E will give you the final top view of the lamina. It is once again a distorted pentagon. Friends, you can observe in this pentagon top views that the side A, B, that is one of the sides of the pentagon, which is on the line of intersection of HP and VP, will coincide. That is both in the top view and in the print view it is going to coincide. So you will get for the edge AB a common line on XY. Friends I hope you have followed the procedure to get the projection of this pentagonal lamina and friends if you are happy with the presentation do subscribe and forward this information to all your friends. Have a wonderful day.